We're going to be generating an inventory management system that's going to check the levels of the current inventory and it's going to highlight so we can clear the formatting, uh, run the code. It's going to highlight the ones that have fallen below the minimum stock and tell us how much we need to restock of that item and also generate a report of the values of the item and the current stock and what we should be ordering to restock it back to the minimum. We can go ahead and set up an inventory control system. So first we need to have some data to work with and to start with. So I've got some data here within a spreadsheet. I've given the sheet a name of inventory. So we're going to be selecting it and this is what we've currently got as our inventory. So we see that item number two and item number four are out. So let's update our inventory going over to our bound script. We're going to create a function and the function is going to be up update inventory and then the first thing we want to do here is we want to select the spreadsheet object so using spreadsheet app we get the active spreadsheet and that's going to allow us to select the spreadsheet since this is going to be a bound script and if you're using a standalone script then you need to select the spreadsheet by its ID so let's select the inventory sheet object and this is within the spreadsheet object. We can get the sheet by name. And this is just requiring a string value. And that's going to be the name of the sheet that we're selecting. Make sure that it matches. And this is just expecting a string value there for the name. Uh, we want to get the data range. So we want to select out all of the available values from the inventory sheet spreadsheet and we're getting the data range so that selects any data that's contained within that spreadsheet and then let's remove it out as a usable data product so using the data range we use get values and that's going to return back all of the values within an array format I usually like to just make sure that my code is working at this point and accept any permissions that are needed so we see that we've got the output of data so that's exactly what we want Let's move on to the next step where we're going to set up the headers and then loop through the headers. So this is for the restock data and this is going to be what we're going to be using for the report. So I'm going to set up an array for this and because this is going to be the whole spreadsheet, I'm setting up uh, the headers this way and current stock. So this is going to be generating a report required restock so if we want to restock that and let's loop through what we have for data so that we can generate the report I'm going to use a for loop so let i equal 1 and the reason it's 1 is so that we're skipping the headers so that way we don't want to use the data from the headers and it's going to loop through while i is less than the data length we're going to increment I so that we can iterate through all of the items and selecting the current item and that's going to be contained with data with an index value of I as we're looping through and then we want to also get the current stock. St current stock is going to be contained within the current item with an index value of 1 and this is beginning by the current spreadsheet so index value of 1 is going to be the second column there so column B so we're returning back that information and then we also want to have the minimum required stock value and this is going to be contained within the current item with an index value of 2 again this is coming in from the spreadsheet so whatever we want as the minimum stock if we're out at 0 or if we're below the minimum then we need to do some restocking of it so now let's calculate the stock quantity. So using a variable, we'll call it restock quantity. And this is going to equal whatever we've got for the minimum required stock minus the current. And this actually should be current stock. So this will give us how much we want to restock on this particular item. And let's check to see if the restock quantity 
and we'll use a ternary operator so make sure that we're not getting any negative values so take the restruct quantity and check to see if it's less than zero if it's less than zero then we're going to equal it to zero uh, so we don't have any negative values there otherwise it's going to be the restock quantity so that's how we can ensure we're not returning back negative values and now we want to update the quantity in the original data so by taking the inventory sheet we get the range and we use the i plus one and we want to update the column four and column four is going to contain the restock quantity so this is going to be setting a value that we need to restock it so set the value to what we need to restock quantity and we can also highlight the spreadsheet so we'll check to see if the restock quantity so we can have a condition here is greater than zero and if it is then we take the inventory sheet we can get the range that we want to highlight so using get range and this is going to be i plus one we're getting the first column and the number of rows so it's just one row and we want to update and highlight all four columns we can use the set background and the set background of the element and whatever background color we want to use so in this case we'll do a shade of a light salmon color for the shade and then you can customize this as needed set the restock data and we push the restock data into the array and this is going to have a current item so whatever we've got from the current item current stock and this is a, we're generating a report for this so the restock quantity so that'll allow us to generate the content that we can use for a restock report and here's where we can create the report from the data that we've generated so let restock sheet and if there's uh, so we're going to be creating a new sheet and uh, we're going to first check to see if there is a sheet by that name stock report and if it doesn't exist so we apply a condition and this would be restock sheet so if there is no restock sheet then we're going to create one so restock sheet is going to be equal to insert and then the name of the sheet that we want to insert is going to be the restock report and if it does exist then we're just going to be clearing it so that we don't have any of the old data that's sitting in there so clear that and then afterwards we can take the restock sheet we get the range so starting at 1 1 and then we've got the restock data and this is an array that we've produced so we can have a length value and we can have the three columns and we set the values and this is actually going to be values and because we've already got the array set up we can just use the restock data in order to output that into the brand new spreadsheet and brand new sheet so let's uh, run through the code we highlighted the available ones we've got the restock sheet and actually this should be get range so try to run that one more time and there it's given us the required restock so the current stock is 100 so we need to restock 50 on item number one item number two is okay uh, we've got enough uh, above the minimum item number four we've got equal to the minimum so we're still okay on that and minimum required for three and five are underneath so we need to restock it with those quantities and that's just generated out in this report 